Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to today's um, with a YouTube video, and I've got um, a live audit of an account for you guys. This is how I look at an account, audit it, try to improve the performance of the campaigns, and we're gonna look through some various um, metrics and also the landing page, the funnel, what the offer is, and all that cool stuff. So I've got with me Afzal from Rawalpindi in Pakistan. Hi Afzal, how are you? I'm good sir, how are you? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. And thanks for joining in. So yeah, let's get started and jump right. If you would like to share your screen and then we'll go through the audit of the account. Sure. So first of all, tell me what uh, the challenges what problems you're experiencing and what would you like to improve on this account so basically uh, i got a client from usa he was uh, uh, is referred by my friend basically he business is plumbing that ways and uh, uh, basic thing is plumbing and the other thing is plumbing design and uh, the whole uh, complete solution for plumbing so uh, he tried many other companies for PPC and uh, didn't get any leads, quality leads. So he contacted okay. me. I, I, I'm good in uh, this and getting leads and everything. So I tried this uh, plumbing service uh, keywords and plumbing uh, whole business. I studied already, but uh, what I was not getting is the quality not even quality actually a lead a single lead i okay, tried to so spend right some now, budget but i i, I just stopped spending okay. more budget so okay. because i was so, not getting clicks not getting leads so i stopped sure. okay so let's look at your account first of okay. all uh, first let me explain one thing uh, he he gave me my uh, his website uh, that was prepared very well and that was presentable. But I was using a tricky thing. I was not getting uh, visitors on the website. I was using only I was I selected only mobile targeting, yeah. and I am using WhatsApp web link to get direct leads by WhatsApp. Okay. That is that Google doesn't support actually. No. Yeah, but uh, I am using API link and getting direct. Once someone click on my ad, it directly come to the WhatsApp. No, so, but it needs to come to the landing page. The the click from the ad needs to come to the landing page. Uh, I, I'm I'm cutting this thing uh, from the middle, like. I'm directly getting WhatsApp clicks. Okay, let's uh, have a look at the account first. Uh, yeah, you, you can you, you will identify what what I am doing. It, yeah. It's something a, a little tricky thing. Okay, let's go into the account. Okay, and can you see? Last, can you see my last, screen? Yeah, I can see your screen. And let's go to okay. last thirty days. Okay, all time you got. Yeah. So, okay, so first thing, you run this campaigns. Are these the only two campaigns you have run? No, let's keep it at account uh, campaign level, please. Okay. No, go back to the campaign level. I want to see both the campaigns. Yeah, these are the campaigns. Okay. So, okay. All right. So, this campaign is running in which country? Okay. You see okay. specific so areas. Is this your account? Yes. Because this My is in account. rupees. Yes. Okay. So first thing I would always recommend that you have the client account. So the billing is always done by the client and not by you. Okay. You work in the client account and you, you uh, do you know what an MCC is? Uh, yeah, MCC My account. I know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, set up an MCC, and this is for every professional and freelancer working. Uh, I would not recommend you run your own accounts because if the client does not pay you, I'm not saying that they won't pay you, but if the client 
doesn't pay you, then you're yeah. stuck. You'll be you'll have to pay Google, and you'll be out of yeah. pocket. So the billing yeah. is always done by the client, and you get access to the client account through the MCC. That's the first thing. Second okay. thing, you said that you're not getting any leads at all, and you stop the campaigns. This is a classic mistake many prof uh, freelancers and PPC guys make because you only had 14 clicks and okay. you stopped the campaign. 14 clicks is nothing, mm, right? Yeah. Okay. So you need to let it run for a little while and see what's happening and what's not happening. You, if, if this was the, you start a campaign and the leads start flowing in from day one, it does happen quite often that we start to get leads. They may not be at a profitable price, but you start to get leads. But you got to let it run for a little while to see what's happening and what's not happening. So your CTR on one of them is 0.79, which is a bit low. The other one, 1.38, yeah, is double the first one. Okay. I would like to go on to the landing page where you're driving the traffic first. So I can see what you're getting. You said this is from a, for a plumbing client, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's the that word I am doing different from others. Okay. I'm open up a new tab and open, the, open up a new tab and go to the landing page where you. Are. So where are you sending the traffic? Basically, so I'm I'm sending traffic to the WhatsApp link. That is the difference between normal campaign and what I am doing. Okay. That that word I was talking about. Okay. L let me show you. Okay. Let me show you. Let me explain. Uh, my internet is not very well, so <laughs> please bear. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, I'm using WhatsApp API link. Okay. Once someone click from uh, is yeah. mobile. Yeah. It directly lands to my WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. If he is using WhatsApp web on laptop, then you can okay. continue to okay. chat with Okay, the... I got it. Right. So your URL is that api.whatsapp.com, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay. First, okay, let's stop over here for a second. How are you tracking the conversion? Uh, I have access to the that uh, WhatsApp number. When someone, when no. someone uh, clicks on add uh, the GCL ID shows that th this visitor come from the Google ads. Okay, but that will not register over here because you cannot set up a conversion tracking on the WhatsApp.com. Yeah. Actually, actually we can't do because it, it's a, it's not allowed by Google actually That's right. in the real sense. That's right. So you cannot track the conversion in Google Ads. That's true. All right. So I would not recommend that you do that, first of all. What you okay. should do is set up a landing page and put up that WhatsApp number on that landing page. So when somebody okay. clicks on it, you can at least track it through Google Tag Manager that somebody is clicking on WhatsApp and you can count that as a conversion. Okay. It's not. 100% accurate because somebody will click on it and they will not submit a inquiry or a lead or whatever, yeah. right? So okay. at least you is something is better than nothing. I would never run a campaign going somewhere because with the smart campaigns and the smart bidding, the Google needs to know what the conversion is. So that's the first thing you need to do. Second thing, let's look at the landing page first and I want to see what sort of keywords are you targeting okay let me show you yeah this is really important because plumbing you can waste a lot of money if you don't uh, go after the right keywords Just yeah. hold a second. All right. yeah. where is web
Okay. So they are Amcon consultants. Yes. Okay. Electrical and mechanical engineers. Okay. So you mentioned about mechanical, electrical, and plumbing engineering solutions you can trust. So they don't do emergency plumbing. So if somebody's got a leaking tap, so they are not the the emergency plumbers. They, they, this is a completely different kind of plumbing and engineering and consulting services. So they are complete MEP engineering service provider, okay, basically. But but yeah. but they need leads for uh, no, normal emergency plumbing and uh, plumbing service. They they want leads for that. Yes. Okay. So if somebody has got a leaking tap, yeah, they are providing service. They want that inquiry. Yes. Yes. Okay. So there is a complete disconnect mm -hmm. from what you just said to me, and what they have got on the landing page. They've got mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and plumbing. Um. So they are installing systems you see interior exterior lighting hot water systems so you need to create a landing page which says that you know for emergency plumbing this is what you yeah. are going to get okay let's go back into your google ads account and i want to see at the ads and the keywords okay this was uh... I created so it's good that you for the campaigns because you will be wasting a lot of money. Yeah. Okay. I already paused all the campaigns. Yeah. See now, so, um, top. Okay, hold on. Um, emergency plumber, plumber near me. These are all the right keywords for that kind of service. The ads, top rated emergency plumber, best price, free consultation, um, top rated plumbers, best price. Free guns. See now, this is where I think you will really struggle. I don't want a consultant. If I've got water leaking in my bathroom or through the ceiling, I need an emergency plumber, not a consultant, to come give me free consultation. I want somebody to come and repair my water or the leaking tap, right? Yeah, understand. Yes. So this is, I yes. think where you're going to get now let's go into this ad first any ad okay yeah the ad should always be about the customer what's in it for them not about who we are what we do right people don't care people don't care i'm the best i'm the oldest i've been running my business for so long i've got so many reviews i've got thousands of customers and so on all they care about is how you can solve my problem, be it plumbing, yeah. dentist, insurance, any kind of problem somebody has, they want that problem to be solved, right? So headline one, top rated emergency plumber, okay? Best price and free consultation, okay, good. Amcon Consultants, Inc., 1982, fine, okay. Uh, description one, Amcon Consultants is providing top-rated emergency plumber service, free consultation. Okay, so now you're repeating that free consultation in description one. Now, what will make this ad even more better is you utilize description two as well. Because you've got that okay. space, right? Google is giving yeah. you that space to write it, give them more information. The part one and part two should also be stuffed with emergency and plumbing or plumber. Put the keyword in there. Yeah. For okay. this kind of ads, I would highly recommend that you do call ads. Don't okay. do the WhatsApp. Because you, you oh. see, now you, you've got to think. 
look, this is a really good example of what you should not do with Google Ads. When you oh, have got, so you imagine you're in your home, you think from how the customers are going to think and what they are experiencing. You have got water leaking through your uh, ceiling because one of your taps is leaking, right? Like crazy. So the water is yeah. going every, uh, is everywhere. It's flooding your bathroom. Yeah. Do you are you going to WhatsApp somebody and wait for a reply after two hours, or you want to pick up the phone and speak to somebody? Hey, I've got a problem in my bathroom and in my home. Can some can can you come right now and fix this? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. run a call call yes. ad. Don't worry about WhatsApp and make this too complicated because first of all you cannot track the conversion yeah that's correct right and secondly people are not going to send a whatsapp message to get a reply they want to speak to somebody they are panicking they they yeah. need that problem fixed so run a that's call true. only ad okay yeah? and make a landing page which says all about emergency plumbing so consulting is not the right um, word or the right niche for this. You just want to go after emergency plumbing. So let's go into your keywords now. Well, okay. Please. Basically, I use the skags. Uh, if, if from uh, the name yeah, is skags is fine. So those of you who are then, then the keyword will be uh, emergency. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So skags don't work anymore as well as they used to, because key exact keywords or any kind of keyword match type is not exact anymore. Phrase match is not phrase anymore. Is uh, exact is not exact anymore because Google yeah. is going to show you ads for close variants as well, right? So go into your keywords. So you got uh, emergency right. plumber, emergency plumber service. Yeah, these are the right keywords. Absolutely. One more word which you should add is just plumber, right? Make a new ad group because mm -hmm. I've done a lot of plumbing um, campaigns. We've got one client spending over $120,000 a month on just uh, plumbing, emergency plumbing. And the word yeah. plumber is is our cheapest one. Um, the other thing with that, these keywords will be expensive. They are not cheap. So you need to use them wisely and properly. And you will find once you've got about 30, 40 conversions in the campaign, switch over to broad match right your ch yeah. clicks will be cheaper but then you need to have a strong list of negative keywords now do you set up an account level negative keyword list so go into mm -hmm. tools and settings no so go into tools and settings on the top on the top right Go keep going right to tools and settings, yeah. And then negative neg keywords? negative keyword list, yeah. Let's create one very quickly. Yeah. There, uh, I already right created, there. but that was for the other business. Okay, so again, if if you got multiple businesses, do not put them in the same account. Make a separate account. Okay. because then you are going to get into a model so yeah as long as you know how to use it then you create a, a negative list apply to all the campaigns which are running and have a strong list of whatever search queries you don't want add them into the negative keyword list last thing we want to look at is i know it hasn't run a lot let's go into search queries under keywords And the keywords, yeah, search, search, terms. search terms, yeah.
plumber near me, best plumbing near me, top plumbers near me is okay. Another thing which you really want to keep a very close eye on is com competitors, right? Because sometimes yeah. people are trying to find their plumbing or plumbers who they have been working with. So like top plumbers is, is fine. Ace Plumbing and Router San Francisco. Anderson Plumbing. These are branded terms. You will get a lot. Yeah. Find a lot of wasted budget, especially if you are on small budgets. I would yeah. add all of these in account level negative keyword list. Right? I don't want any okay. comp competition or competitors uh, search terms triggering my ads right so right. plumbers las uh, las vegas free estimates yeah so free now again you find really good terms from here so you know in your ad you have put in free consultation i would replace that with free estimates or free call out yeah okay because nobody wants to do consultation we are not designing a bathroom or a kitchen or something like that that's why you will get consultants right now we are looking at plumbers so they want free free call out or free um estimates and so on so you 24 hour plumber is a good one yeah keep going down so anderson ace all of these words you put them in your negative keyword let's go down okay there's not that many so you you get the gist as to what you need to do, right? So the first thing I would do is stop running. Oh, well, you have run, stop running ads. Stop, never use any landing page or a URL where you cannot put your conversion tracking tag. Now with a call only ads, okay. this is the simplest and the easiest way to set up a campaign because you don't need to worry about putting a tag the call extension works automatically. All you need to do is to switch it on, right? And, okay. and get a phone number. Yeah, they will. They will get calls directly will, from customer. Yeah, they will get calls straight away. Okay, and uh, how can I track and uh, how can I make conversion tracking for the call ads? So, so you don't need to worry about um, the what you call it the tag because you don't need to do anything all you do is set up the call extension that's it yeah and uh, i can see in my account uh, conversions yes about then, how many calls we received in exactly day. and then you will see how many calls are coming through then you can put in uh, for your um in your campaign a campaign level ad group keyword level ad level which keywords are converting, which ads are converting more, and then you start optimizing for that. So a couple of things to take away from today's um, session is never run without conversion tracking mm -hmm. and never run ads in your own account because it will only right. take one client not to pay you and you will be in serious financial problems. Mm, I understand. Right? That's right? You always get clients to set up their own account and their billing. And then you link your MCC, uh, get access to their account through your MCC. So that's the right. two biggest things you need to do. So you have gone after the right keywords. Well done for that. All you need to do is to then create a landing page and not to that website or to that WhatsApp uh, link. Okay. Because Google will need to verify the phone number. You see, so you need to have that phone number on that landing page. Mm, correct. Yeah? Cool. So, yeah, thank you so much, Abzal, for your time today. I really appreciate it. And thank you to everyone for logging in. And if you would like me to do an audit for you, then please get in touch with our, via our Facebook group or on YouTube.